what's up everybody you got a do-it-yourself one today we're gonna be working on some deer cover scent now let's just go ahead and get this out of the way there's scent eliminator and then there's cover scent scent eliminator is a scientific thing that's made to kill human bacteria odors things like that and make you basically smell like nothing supposedly cover scent is something to mask your smell as a human you smell more natural things like that that's why they have that dirt scent and things like that it makes you smell like natural stuff well today i'm going to show you the way i make my cover scent with the natural things around and it's free all you need is a bottle a pan a strainer maybe an old t-shirt and we'll get into that later but we're gonna work on this uh, cover scent here. Hopefully everybody has a good deer season. Hopefully this works out for you if you try it. So, let's get it. What I'm gonna do, see all this stuff right here? Pine tree, we got a little oak tree right there. Stuff like that. Some of the grass and things. Leaves that have fallen. I'm gonna take all that and I'm gonna put it in this pan. tree branches, oak trees, pine trees, all natural ingredients. It's just laying around here in the house or growing or whatever, out in the woods, anything you want to do out in the woods. Um, I'm just gonna throw it in here. I recommend hot water. If you do it outside, because it takes a little bit longer for it to come to a boil over a fire. block of wood here so I don't want to set it on my tailgate because it is pretty warm. Mosquitoes are killing me. Let it cool down a little bit. All right it's cooled down a little bit so I'm going to do this first strain. This is just a little teeny tiny strainer I picked up for nothing. Um, I recommend using a shirt but for right now because it is still a little hot um, I'm going to just run it through this thing just to get the big stuff out of it and then i'm gonna go try to find a some kind of cloth or a burlap something or something that i could use as a strainer uh, just laying around the house that will get all the fine fine particles out of it because those little fine particles will clog up your spray bottle that's what you don't want Took the liquid out of this, poured it back into this thing. It's cooled down pretty good now. It's still a little warm, but I just had this old shirt. I recommend that if you do get a shirt, uh, an old shirt or something, I know it might take a little bit more time, but run it through. If you do a scent-free wash on your clothes with some scent-free product, uh, wash your shirt in that so you don't get those chemicals from regular laundry detergent things like that in your scent spray.
this right there. That's what it strains out. That's what you don't want in your bottle. That will plug that up all day long. Well, I couldn't find my funnel, so next best thing. Be slow with it. All right, there we have it. Homemade do-it-yourself cover scent. It smells like, try to explain what it smells like. I mean, it smells like boiled woods. <laughs> I don't really know. You get that, you get that hint of the oak wood from the branches. You get the hint of the pine needles you get the hint of the other grasses and things like that that i threw in there the leaves it just smells outdoorsy um like i said it's all natural stuff around here so every whenever i go hunting it don't matter pine trees or not it's gonna smell like everything around this so hope you all like what i'm doing here hit that subscribe button it's deer season it's almost mid-october it's getting ready to hit to the heart of deer season try this stuff out let me know in the comments if you try it if you have any questions comment but like i said like the video hit that subscribe button we'll bring some more to you thanks y'all